Hey everybody, it's Jay Ball, Blue Jays Outdoors. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you so much for tuning in to this pretty special episode. So this is the episode where we're going to announce the official winner of my uh, iPhone chest holder here that we made. I really do appreciate everybody that watched the video. Had uh, quite a few views. I'm just looking here at the stats. I think we had, um, let's see, 18 likes and 104 views so definitely appreciate everybody that uh you know viewed it and then the comments so we had five correct answers and then we had five close answers but we're going to get into that in just a minute what i want to do is just give you guys a little bit of a life update just some things that have been going on in uh you know behind, kind of behind the scenes with blue days outdoors i don't really talk a lot of personal stuff a lot of family stuff too often because I just want to keep this, you know, all about fishing. But I do, I do think that we've built a pretty safe community where we can openly kind of talk and express and have these conversations. Um, they're not always going to be easy. Obviously, we're going to have some difficult conversations. But uh, unfortunately, last week on the 10th of September, I lost my grandma. She was a major inspiration for me to create Blue Jays Maple Syrup. I'm very fortunate to get to spend, I think, the last seven, eight years with her making maple syrup. It was honestly one of the things that she looked forward to the most. I mean, even when we were making it in our last season, when she was 93 years old, she had such a spunk and such a uh, like positive vibe, and she was so excited when I come pick her up to make maple syrup. So those are the memories that I'm going to hold on to that are obviously very special. So. Took some time off of social media, really tried to kind of gather my thoughts, collect some ideas. Um, you know, I've kind of been in a little bit of a rut. Um, you know, growth has been kind of slow on a lot of my channels, a lot of my platforms, but you know, I, I, I was getting too, too fixated on that, too keyed in on that. And I want to just make sure that I'm making the best possible content that I can. And, you know, talking about that, you know, I don't have really fancy camera equipment. I make all my videos on my iPhone, hence why I'm actually giving away, you know, this phone holder uh, to one of the lucky uh, subscribers and commenters. Um, I don't have any fancy editing softwares. I just literally do all my hard cuts in iMovie and then I send it to YouTube and then I do all my cuts there. So I don't have any like fancy intros and all that kind of stuff. And, and I get it, right? The the production quality of the videos that are coming out nowadays are just absolutely crazy. For example, I'm going to leave a link so you guys can go check out uh, Dylan Gruff from Extreme Outdoorsman. He just dropped an absolute banger of a, of a uh, trip for him and I on Lake St. Clair catching big smallmouth um, on some topwater lures. A little bit of a slower day, but we're able to scrap out a few catches. So I'm going to leave that link up here so you guys can check that out. But, you know, that's really the quality of videos. And even there's some other content creators out there doing an awesome job creating different content. Uh, Outdoor Conquest, he's been absolutely killing it recently with some really, some really cool edits. Uh, but it's another one. There's just there's a ton of really good guys out there that make really, really good content and really good YouTube videos, right? And I know mine struggle. I, I know mine aren't as, uh, they don't have the cool graphics and intros and all that kind of sound and stuff. So I will try to get better with that. Really, I'm just trying to give you guys the content, right? Um, you know, just get right into the fishing, getting the catches, why I use what I use, why I use pink. Obviously, you guys know I love using pink. Um, so yeah, that's just, uh, you know, a little bit, like I said, a little bit of life things have been going on with grandma. It's been a little bit difficult getting through the last uh, couple of days, but we'll get through it. I've had a really good support group and spent some time with extreme outdoorsmen and then also uh, team short shank and strong girl Gabby. So definitely appreciate all the support from those guys. But yeah, so I, I'm going to keep grinding away. I'm just going to keep, um, you know, trying to make as best content as I can. I really appreciate all the support. If you guys have anything more that you'd like to see, like more of these tutorials, like how I build this kind of stuff. Uh, I think I've even had some people ask me how I actually make my videos. I want to show you guys how I actually go through and take my videos from my phone, which you guys are watching now, and edit them kind of on the fly and then put them into iMovie and then load them into YouTube and then now I do that whole process. So I think I might try to show that as best I can. It might not be that good. It might be a little bit clunky, but I will try to show that. But if there's any other kind of content, that you guys want to see, you know, breakdowning of different or breakdown different lures and setups and rods and reels and why I fish where I fish. I want to try to make my videos a little bit shorter. Um, the watch time is a little bit down. So what I want to do is I want to make the videos shorter and get, you know, more to the point and get more to the really meat and potatoes and the content that you guys want to see. So without further ado, I really do appreciate all the support. Like I said, we had uh, 10 comments on what my favorite brand of frog is and then my favorite color of frog is. And what I've done is I've taken the five um, followers that had got the right answer and I put a number to their name 
no particular order, just I was going through the comments and if you had the right answer, I was gonna, I put a number next to it. So what I did is I went on Google, I just found a random number generator and I put the min of one, max of five. So I'm just gonna hit generate and whoever's number coincides with the number that was chosen on this automatic generator is gonna win the, uh, the phone holder. So let's hit generate. And the random number is two. So that means the winner of the iPhone chest mount is none other than thing five. So really do appreciate the uh, the support and all the comments on, on all the content that I make. So congratulations, you are the winner of the uh, iPhone chest holder. So hopefully you enjoy that. And let's see, the other uh, one that was the most popular as far as comments goes was Pink Lemonade. And you guys have seen a little bit of Pink Lemonade this year, kind of a new color I've been playing with. It is a cool frog, don't get me wrong. but it's, it's funny how easy it is for me to see the pink versus the chartreuse and the pink. Um, I put the pink on the bottom so the bass can still look up and see the pink with the butt, you know, kind of laying down on the water. But uh, it does look kind of cool. I actually just threw one last week or the week before last and did pretty good on it. So, again, thing five, really appreciate all the support. You are the lucky winner, like I said, of the iPhone chest holder. Thanks for all the support. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to talk to you guys about. You know, just thanks for all the support. Channel's growing pretty good. Uh, we're almost at 2,000 followers. We're really close. We're, I really appreciate it, too. We're getting close to that um, monetization value. I think you have to have, like, 4,000 watch hours. We're more than halfway there, so I really do appreciate it. We're getting really, really close, and I cannot thank you guys enough for all your support. I really do appreciate it. So, again, uh, just remember the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks, and we'll catch you later next time. And I appreciate you guys watching the video. And uh, again, congratulations to Thing5 for winning the iPhone holder. I'll be sending it out to you shortly.